Hello everybody and welcome to your new lesson. Your lesson today is Grammar 9A and your lesson is on your student's book, Portal to English 11B. So open your books, page 131, and let's begin. Let's start with the objectives of the lesson. Number one, recall pronoun changes in the indirect speech. Number two, recognize the changes in tenses and adverbs of time in the indirect speech. And number three, practice reporting statements using special introductory verbs. Look at this picture and read the words in the bubble. Who is in the picture? Yes, he's a teacher. And to whom is he speaking? Yes, very good. To his students. What does the teacher say? Yes, you will have a test on Wednesday. Look at the punctuation of the statement. Yes, excellent. The statement is, or the words are, put between inverted commas or between speech marks. And this is to show that these are the exact words the teacher said. Imagine now that somebody is going to tell us what the teacher said to his students. Of course, he will not use the exact words of the teacher, but he will use the indirect speech or the reported speech. What will he say? Yes, very good. He will say the teacher told the students that they would have a test on Wednesday. What do you notice here? Yes, very good. There is no inverted commas or speech marks. There is a reporting verb, told, which is also equivalent to say. For example, here we say told the students or said to the students. Or we say he told me or he said to me. Imagine now that this is one of the students who will have their exam on Wednesday and the student will tell us I will have my test on Wednesday. How can we report what the student said? Take some time to work on that. If you finish, let's begin. Who can do it? Yes, very good. He said that he would have his test on Wednesday. What do you notice here? Yes, excellent. The pronouns have changed. We have I, it became he, and we have my, it became his. Imagine now that it was this little girl who said, I will have my test on Wednesday. How will this statement be reported? Think about it. Okay, who can give it a try? Yes, very good. She said that she would have her test on Wednesday. What changes in pronouns do you notice? Excellent. We have I here, it became she, and my, it became her. If the statement was said by two students or by a group of students, they will say, we will have our test on Wednesday. How can we report that? Work on it. Who is ready with an answer? Yes, excellent. They said that they would have their test on Wednesday. How did the pronouns change? Yes, excellent. We have we, it became they, and our, it became their. Based on the examples we've seen, we can summarize the changes in pronouns in the following table. So I becomes he or she, we becomes they, my becomes his or her, and our becomes their. Now it's your turn to do some work. Pause the video for some time and rewrite the following sentences in the reported speech. Pay attention to the pronoun changes. If you've finished, let's begin. Sentence one, who begins? Yes, very good. 
Peter said that he finished his homework. Number two. Yes, excellent. Sarah said that she lived with her family in London. We finished with number three. Yes, very good. Peter and Sarah said that they read the book with their teacher. Let's go now with exercise A, page 131. You have three statements. You are going to rewrite them into the direct speech. The opposite of what we did in the previous task. When we do this kind of task, we need to look at the pronouns and at the tenses of the verbs. So if you look at this sentence, we have us, we have would take, and we have us. So these things need to be changed to form the direct speech. Who can give it a try? Yes, excellent. The guide said to us, it will take us an hour to get to the archaeological site. But if the guide is not a member of the group, the guide will say, it will take you an hour to get to the archaeological site. What do you notice here? Yes, very good. Will in the direct speech becomes would in the reported speech. Take some time to do the other sentences. Sentence number two now. Mona told me it was the first time she had been to the museum. What are the pronouns and the verbs that need to be changed? Yes, we have was, we have she, and we have had been. Who can try this? Yes, excellent. Mona said to me, it is the first time I have been to the museum. What change do you notice here? Yes, very good. We have is in the direct speech becomes was in the report speech. And this means the present simple becomes past simple. What else? Yes, have been becomes had been. And this means the present perfect in the direct speech becomes past perfect in the indirect speech. Let's go with sentence number three. My friend said that Bill was making a dinner. What do you think needs to be changed here? Yes, excellent. The verb was making. So what can be the answer? Yes, excellent. My friend said Bill is making dinner. What changes do you notice? Yes, very good. We have is making in the direct speech becomes was making in the indirect speech. And this means that the present continuous becomes past continuous in the indirect speech. Let's go now with exercise B, page 131, and look at the changes from the direct into the reported or into the indirect speech. We begin with the tenses. We have five tenses here. Pause the video and take some time to match the changes. If you've finished, let's begin. We can summarize the changes in the following table. Present simple becomes, yes, excellent, past simple. Present progressive, yes, very good, past progressive, past simple. Yes, it can remain as past simple or we can change it into the past perfect simple. Present perfect simple, it will be changed into the past perfect simple. And present perfect progressive, yes, very good. It changes into the past perfect progressive. As you note from the table, any present becomes a past. Let's look quickly at the changes in the models or the model verbs between the direct speech and the indirect speech. So can becomes. Yes, good, could, will, would, must, had to, may, might, should, it remains should, and could, it remains could. We finish this task by looking at the changes in the adverbs of time or the expressions of time. 
So if you have today in the direct speech, it becomes yes, very good. That day in the indirect speech, yesterday, the previous day, last week, the previous week, tomorrow, the next day, now, then, and finally, tonight becomes that night. It's your turn now. Pause the video for some time and try to rewrite the six sentences in the indirect speech. Pay attention to the pronouns, to the verbs, to the modal verbs, and to the adverbs of time. If you finished, let's begin. Let's begin with sentence number one. Yes, excellent. Martha said that she would be cleaning the house the next day. Number two. Very good. Musa told Muhammad that he might go to the bank before work. Number three. Yes, very good. Victor said that he lost his wallet the previous day. Sentence number four now. Yes, very good. Kate told her sister that she had already been to the supermarket. Number five. Yes, excellent. Nasser said that I could ask Hamad for help. But if you here refers to the plural, to a group of people, we say Nasser said that we could ask Hamad for help. Sentence six. Yes, very good. My uncle said that he didn't try driving until he visited Turkey. Or we can use the past perfect and we say, My uncle said that he hadn't tried driving until he visited Turkey. We go now with exercise C, page 131. Look at the picture on the right. What does the receptionist say? Yes, she says, I'm sorry, I made a mistake. How can we report what she said? There are two ways. Sentence A, the hotel receptionist apologized for having made a mistake. And sentence B, the hotel receptionist said she was sorry that she had made a mistake. Which sentence almost used the exact words of the receptionist? Yes, very good, it's sentence B. And look at the reporting verb in B. It's said. And which sentence use a special introductory verb and conveys the meaning without using the exact words of the receptionist? Yes, of course, it's sentence A. And it doesn't use say or tell. It uses the verb apologize. So apologize here replaces say or tell. So in this sentence, apologize replaces the expression, I'm sorry. Here is a list of special introductory verbs in English, and these verbs are used to replace the verbs say and tell in making the reported speech or the indirect speech. Let's look at the first group. I will call it the blue group, and these verbs require a verb plus ing after them. For example, we say, the thief denied stealing the money. Suggest here is an exception because it can follow the same rule, and we say he suggested going out for a walk, or it can follow another rule, suggest that plus, sen plus sentence. He suggested that we should go out for a walk. The second group, I will call it the red group, and they require a two plus verb after them, an infinitive construction. Example, she promised to finish the report before two o'clock. Number three, the, I will call it the green group, and these verbs require that after them. For example, he announced that he would leave his job. Or she complained that the test was hard. Complain here also can follow the first rule and we can say 
she complained about having a lot of work to do. We finish our lesson today with exercise D, page 131. Rewrite the following sentences starting with the words given. In this exercise, you will use some of the special introductory verbs we've seen in the previous task. So you need to pay attention to what we use after them. Do we use a verb plus ing? Do we need a to plus infinitive or do we need at that clause. If you've finished, let's begin. Sentence number one, who is ready with an answer? Yes, very good. Heather refused to spend the night at Laura's house. Sentence two. Yes, excellent. Tony advised Steve to pay more attention in class. Sentence number three. Yes, very good. Haya told us that she would never stay at the hotel again. Sentence number four. Yes, very good. Martin suggested going on a cruise to the Caribbean. There is another possible answer here. Yes, excellent. Martin suggested that we should go on a cruise to the Caribbean. Sentence five, very good. Linda refused to help Sally with the housework. We finish with number, sentence number six. Amina said that Layla couldn't go to the supermarket because she was working. 